Hey guys, it's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Friday, January 12th, I believe. What you're looking at is the Continental Divide, freshly coated in snow. Everything's melted off down here because we live in the east-west valley, nestled up on the south face. Now the front yard, that's freezing. That's, there's no sun there. That might be a different video. But I want to show you the progress on our greenhouse. There's a couple things I want to go over today. Bottle bricks and how we're putting in the first geothermal tube. Also, you'll notice on the top there, as Leah put it, the circus tent, I get all my roofing repurposed for a buck a foot. And that's what they had. Now only the first third is actually finished. The corner we're walking in on, as far as the exterior is concerned. And that's just the roofing system and the glazing. Finished. I still have to seal up this door, which is uh, repurposed from a local doctor's office. It's an exterior door. I got that for 60. I need a quality door here for the R-value closure. I also did a little stonework for the entryway to make it look pretty. Now, above here in the transom, I'm going to be putting in a bottle wall. So I, I've got out some bottle bricks here. Now, these are bottle bricks made with Coke bottles. And all you do is cut the dimension of the bottle you're using to the half of the desired thickness of the wall. Now, what I mean by that is that you got to figure out how thick of a wall this is going to be, you're going to be making the bottle wall for. Now, and you, I'm going to be using mortar in between the bricks, obviously. And this should look awesome. It should be done soon. And I'll update you on that. When we have a few days where it seems like it's going to be above freezing, close to it, I'll do it. I just may wait till spring and close it up with wood. So all you need is a tile saw to cut this. It's a regular tile saw and some duct tape. And then you just tape them together and use these as bricks. And I believe that this type of technology is going to be necessary in the future. Um, it makes sense. There's millions of bottles lying around. All you need is a little micro curve diamond blade and cut them. And then some tape. And this is a, these are very expensive when you're talking glass bricks but this is free, basically. Just sweat equity. So we're gonna be using a lot of that type of stuff. Now let me go in here and show you what is going on inside. So we're putting in uh, the first deep tube. What you can see in there, it's just drain tile with a sock. It's what it's actually called in the construction industry. It's a four inch corrugated plastic pipe uh, with a nylon sock on it. So we have it set at 48 inches depth for the first run. And there'll be another run above it, 12 inches above this, in a different pattern. But we'll discuss that in a different video. So, but what I want to show you is that we're taking these recycled feed bags, obviously non-GMO organic feed that we use for our chicken farm. This is what we supplement them, and they get sprouted grain with that. I'm using these recycled bags as a... Uh, Two things, a vapor barrier to keep the heat from this pipe in the ground and also to keep any mud or water from seeping into the sock. So we're going to be lining the whole geotube and then covering this with clay. Now one thing, when you get these uh, tubes, when you buy them, they come in rolls like this. Very hard to work with. So when you cut this roll open, you really need to uh, unroll it outside somewhere to work with it or else it'll have kinks like a hose like you won't believe so we're getting the first geotube in for our first geothermal greenhouse here and i'm stoked so i don't want to spend a long time here i want to get this in and i want to get this baby done now it's hard to get some good perspective in here but there's going to be two levels in this greenhouse a lower level with the raised bed and you walk up to the upper level here 
It'll be easier to picture in a future video when it's finished. So there's the update on the geothermal greenhouse. Bottle bricks and the continental divide. And there's the future sawmill. Thanks for joining us on our journey. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it now. Share this with the people. Tell them to come watch what we're doing. You guys can come out and join us. Be safe, everybody.